Hi guys, welcome back to Paper Confessions with Karamia. I hope you guys are all doing well. Join me today and have a look at what I usually carry in what's in my journal pouch. If you're interested in seeing what I do carry on an everyday basis, make sure to check out my Everyday Essentials bag. So this is something I carry when we travel, whether it's springtime, the holiday season, or summer. It's something I put in my hand carry, my backpack, or my tote. So all of the items that you'll see here are some of the things I bring uh, when I am journaling on the go. So a lot of the really serious journalers and planners have shown this online. You've probably seen it. It's really fun to see what everybody has in their bag and what their essentials are for journaling. Um, a lot of them have a Delphonics bag. So I wanted to show you a really affordable bag that you can get from Daiso. So this is a little bag organizer. It has so many compartments as you can see. So we're going to start off here. And it, I think it was like under, it's not a dollar seventy-five, a little over a dollar seventy-five, but under four dollars. So I have my little traveler's notebook and I've had this cover for, for many, many years. This beautiful charm was uh, gifted to me by my dear uh, Pen pal Sandra, I just love it. It's so me. And then the teal color is my favorite. And as you can see, it's super sturdy. I got it from Amazon a long time ago. Oops. Okay, so inside I have my notebook. Now this is a Jane Daven Davenport insert. I have had this in my stash for quite a while. I just love the imagery. But this year, I thought I would use it for our summer journaling. So it has blank pages, so I can definitely create page layouts in there. And it, this little uh, insert or cover already came with these pockets. So I have my aesthetic uh, stickers. I am a botanical floral um, aesthetic girl all year round. So you'll see a lot of that in my page layouts. More of our stickers here, some posted um, page flags, and then more of our fun stickers on the back. Here are more that I got recently for dye. So I love shades of blue, and for the summer, I think it's a really nice color to put in your journal. We have some empty pockets, which is perfect for business cards or little tickets, uh, just, you know, ephemera that we pick up along the way as we enjoy the summer season. So this is my traveling journal. But aside from that, so if I'm not, if I'm out and about and I'm not uh, in our hotel room or wherever we're visiting, I'll leave this all at home and I will bring a small notebook where I can make notations of what happened that day. This is adorable. Look at it, 100 Acre Wood Passport and it's Winnie the Pooh. I got it from Half Price Books. Isn't that cute? And then you can write in. So this is perfect and handy so I can put it in my handbag and it's not so heavy. Now I also bring my stickers and my washi. My uh, pen pal Sandra had made this for me years ago when we did a summer swap. And then I have these two paper clips that I like to bring or take along with me. And look at that. Perfect for the summer. Um, I've put some of the summer stickers mm -hmm. that I would like to use in here. I also tend to bring a small miniature uh, stationery. Uh, if we are visiting some family, I like to give them thank you notes. So I bring that along with me. Or I also use them as page extensions or create pockets with them in my journal notebook. These uh, beautiful floral stickers were from Misty. So thank you, Misty. And then again, Sandra, thank you so much. These are the newest uh, ones that she had sent me. They are the uh, Scratch and Sniff stickers, but they're Strawberry Shortcake. And then these little teddy bears are washies that um, she had made, custom made for me so that I could wrap around the washi. So some of the washi that you see here are some of the ones that she shared with me. And I love them. I I have been holding onto them for a while, so I wanted to use it this summer in my page layout. So I'm super excited to do that. Let's see what else is in here. Also got this recently from Temu, a fun deco 
uh, stickers. The problem with these, they don't have the adhesives and you have to cut the images out. So that's when this guy comes handy. It looks like a cute little lipstick or lip gloss, but it is a pair of scissors that I got from Daiso. So that comes handy for cutting out stuff. And then here we have ooh, a sticker fill. We have this little pouch that carries um, some of the stamps that I like to use. So this one's really nice because it has the days of the week and the numbers and then you have the shopping list and other little cute banner type things. You have a to do, a checklist and I love it. So this is really fun for journaling on the go. We'll put that right there for you to look at. And to be able to stamp that, we're going to have to bring our stamping platform. In this case, I have this small acrylic block that I got from Daiso. And then I also have a little uh, craft line paper. And it's a post-it. So I really like that from Daiso as well. I really like this pouch. This, let me just show you real quick. The zipper part is a little holder for it can make your phone stand like that so i thought that was really cute so we have that and then for the ink i bring my tiny little memento dew drops i love this color and then we have i'm out of the black one but i do have this brown one so they're small and easy to pack so we have that this cute little stylus was gifted to me by mj reyes and i just love it i want to include it so if i'm browsing on my phone and i don't want it to get dirty with my fingerprints then i can definitely use it but how gorgeous is this isn't that cute let's see what else is in here what is in the zipper Oh yes, I also, of course, we need pens to write. So this is also from Dice. I've had this for years and it's lasted quite a while, which I love. $1.75. But I just have a small variety of pens. I have my glue stick, Daiso also. These cute little felt pens. Let me show you what they look like. I love these colors. So my friend Sandra had gifted them to me. Um, they have this uh, wonderful store, Dollarama, that has wonderful pen sets, and I love these. Love the colors. I have my Jelly Roll white pen. Some stickers. Uh, let's see, little, just regular paper mate uh, pen. And then one of these Micron pens are also fun to write with. So we have that. And let's see what else is hiding here. Oh, yes. So I also have my first, when I was in Japan, my first time getting a real traveler's notebook binder clip for your journal. So super happy to have this. So that's going to go there. And it's good to hold down the pages when you're working on your desk. I also like adding once in a while borders, like I'll divide the page with this. These are cute little hedgehogs and the runner tapes that you can run along the page. Got that from Daiso. Got my mini um, Daiso washi tape dispenser here. And then this is my summer favorite stamp, my personal stamp. I love the Hawaiian Islands. And it doesn't matter where I am. I love seeing this girl on my pages. It's just so fun. I love the Aloha spirit that she carries. And then let's see. This cute little stamp set I was able to get from a store in Japan called Tokyo Hands. And it has all my favorite uh, Studio Ghibli characters. Sorry, that's shaking. But you have all that tiny little bunny looking Totoro characters. I use this as cute little bullet points on the page and then kind of line them down if I'm doing listing and also just creating some fun images on our journal page. Now, did I miss anything? That is it guys, but look at how much this little bag organizer held 
and that's what I usually carry when I am journaling on the go. Let me know down below if you do the same or do you carry other different items in your journal pouch. Again, thanks again for watching. Join me next time and I'll, uh, I'll show you what's in my weekend bag. Bye.